The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Today we're going to hear the testimony of uh, the same witness and uh, before we start our proceedings, the greffier is advised to verify the attendance of the parties to the proceedings, including the witness who is summoned to testify in today's session. The greffier, Mr. President, the parties to the proceedings and the person to testify today are all present. The president, president uh, we note that the co-prosecutor is on his feet to take the floor. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, Council. Your Honour, I would like to raise a brief matter this morning relating to Rule 28.8 in relation to self-incrimination. And as Your Honour is aware, that rule requires that uh, that matter be heard in camera, in closed session and we would be in your honour's hands as to when uh, that would be appropriate to discuss that brief matter. I su suggest it would only take 10 to 15 minutes. The President, the President, the trial chamber will take into account uh, the request uh, by the co prosecutor during the session and uh, this request will be granted in any appropriate time after the brief uh, beginning of the session or maybe during the break. The court officer is now directed to bring in the witness into the courtroom, please. President, good morning, Mr. Him Hui. Today, the chamber is going to continue hearing your testimony as a witness. And uh, before we give the floor to the prosecutors, we would like to, to remind you of the duties and rights de et as a témoin. witness. In the name of a witness, you can reject to respond to any témoin, questions to question in which you believe that uh, will sell incriminate si uh, yourself. So if you feel that uh, any testimony will 
incriminate, incriminate yourself, then you can reserve the rights. And uh, number two, regarding your duty as a witness, you are only to talk about the truth, the accounts of which you have the knowledge of or heard or witnessed, and you are not supposed to tell the court anything that is not true. Do you understand? Him hoi, I do, Mr. President. The President, next, we would like to give the floor to the co-prosecutors. put questions to the witness. The co-prosecutors are reminded that you have one hour to put such questions. The floor is yours. So more. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. Him Hoi. I have a few questions. In which I would like to seek the clarification from you. You have already indicated in the hearing that uh, regarding the receiving of the prisoners and the location of which uh, was one located at the, the current uh, radio station, and that uh, the important prisoners would be sent to S21, while, while the less important people would be then sent to S24. So who made the decision to classify these groups of prisoners? Him Hoi. Regarding the prisoners who were important or not important, upon arriving at our location, they were made uh, to produce their names and have On their names registered, then some of whom would uh, be listed as people to be sent to pray sir. Prosecutor, thank you. Could you please Tell us who made uh, such a decision. Question. Respond. S21 was the one who made the decision under the uh, charge. Prosecutor, thank you. So this means that uh, any prisoner who was sent to the place where he, uh, she or he would be received, the decision uh, about their status has already made uh, in advance. Is that correct? Response, yes, that is. Prosecutor, thank you. Merci. Regarding the prisoners who were sent to S21, is, uh, was there anyone ever released to Prasar? Que Response. Anyone who was detained at Prasar would not be released. Prosecutor, the question is, was there any prisoner who was detained at S21 ever released to Prasar? Him Hoi. Response, no. Response, no. Prosecutor, thank you. The accused uh, stated that at S21 there were a kind of vehicle called Lambretta. Can you tell us whether the Lambretta was ever used to made uh, to carry people uh, in Phnom Penh while they were arrested? Him Hoi. There was a small lambretta, but oui, it was it used for carrying vegetables, not for légumes, carrying people. Des des gens. Prosecutor, thank you. 
Now we would like to discuss a little bit about the Vietnamese soldiers. So can you tell us how long would any Vietnamese soldier be kept before he or she was interrogated? Him Hoi. I don't know about this. I only knew that uh, they would be sent in and then they would be detained. Prosecutor, thank you. Réponse, merci. Question plutôt, merci. Are you aware of any um, thing about the confessions of the Vietnamese prisoners of war after they were interrogated? Where would the confessions be used uh, at or for? Que faisait-on de ces aveux ensuite Him hoi. Réponse. The testimony, uh, the confessions uh, obtained uh, would be used to be on radio, broadcast on radio. La radio. Prosecutor, thank you. Have you ever heard uh, such broadcast Question. of their confessions? Him hoi. d'aveux de prisonniers vietnamiens I turned on the radio. I could hear the oui, Vietnamese language radio, uh, broadcast on that radio Vietnamien. almost every day. Presque chaque jour. Prosecutor, thank you. Question. Merci. Do you know also that uh, the Vietnamese people who were sent to S21 were being walked on the road so that uh, other people could see them? Que des prisonniers vietnamiens incarcérés S21 et him escorté sur uh, la route de that sorte que les gens puissent les voir Réponse, oui, c'est arrivé. Prosecutor, thank you. Do you know why Question, were they walked uh, on the road like route. that? Him hoi. Réponse. At that time, the Vietnamese soldiers were put to wear their uniforms while they were taken photograph and that uh, their photograph were shown later. Photo, et ensuite, uh, cette photo était montrée. Thank you. Question, now, merci. we move to uh, the interrogation sites uh, or, or houses. How many houses uh, were used for such interrogation purposes? Him hoi. Réponse. The interrogation places located on uh, uh, just right in front of the um, prison and next to the sewage system or canal, but I don't know how many there were. Prosecutor, thank you. Je ne sais pas combien il y avait de ces maisons. Do you know that uh, inside uh, those uh, interrogation locations uh, there were were there any instruments of torture de ces maisons, ever stored? Instruments yeah. de torture qui étaient stockés, conservés. Hoy. Réponse. I have no idea non, je regarding idée. the instruments je ne sais rien sur les instruments because we are guards and we had nothing to do with the interrogators. Avec les interrogators. The prosecutor, thank you. Regarding Question. the Merci. Concernant maintenant process of uh, detainees before they were taken Le out to be executed at Chiang Ai, uh, you mentioned uh, that detainees would be walked to, to the um, track the waiting exécuté. track, Vous avez dit que les étaient and uh, had you camion. ever observed that there was any detainee who could not walk, and if so, so what happened to him or her? Et si tel était le cas, him que faisait-on de ces détenus? For those uh, who could not walk, they would marcher. be holded, uh, uh, would be held uh, uh, or carried uh, by guards so that they could uh, walk les les to the truck. Et les soutenaient pour qu'ils arrivent jusqu'au camion. thank you. When detain, uh, detainees uh, were being transported to the site to be executed, had you ever observed a Dutch giving any instruction during Duke such process? En train de donner instructions Him lors de cette procédure. Réponse. When detainees were transported or were being transported to Chiang Ai, Dutch did not 
oversee this, Donc, but actually he was the one who faisant, made the decision to have these people taken away to be executed. Pour être executed. Prosecutor, thank you. Uh, have Merci. you ever heard of any hospital named 98 hospital? Du nom de code 98. Him, hoy. Réponse. I never reached that hospital, non, but the wife of Dodge was the head of Dodge that hospital at that time. De à Prosecutor, thank Question. you. Merci. Regarding Merci hospital 98, do you know? Any relation between the hospital to S21? entre l'hôpital et S21? Him, hoy, réponse. I don't know. Non, je ne sais pas. Prosecutor, thank Question. you. Merci. Do you know that uh, the wounded Khmer soldiers si who uh, got injured in the battlefields, where were they sent to? I mean, part. which hospital would be uh, sent in? Him, hoy, I don't know. Non, je ne sais pas. Prosecutor, thank you. Question. Merci. At S21, was there any blood drawing practice? À S21, est-ce que l'on a prélevé du sang Him, hoy. Réponse. I don't know about this blood drawing practice because I was Je sais guarding rien outside. Parce que moi j'étais garde posté à l'extérieur. Prosecutor, thank you. Question, merci. When any detainee fell ill seriously, si un was he or she malade, sent to be treated elsewhere se faire soigner ailleurs him, hoy. Réponse. Detainees who were very sick uh, would be treated uh, inside the prison. À de la prison. Only. Seulement. Prosecutor, thank you. On Thursday last week, you Jeudi dernier, stated that vous avez dit the group of Peng que was in charge of Peng children who came along with their parents and parents. that the Peng group uh, would uh, take away these children to be Peng killed. Could you tell the court exécuter. if you know anything about how execution si was carried out? Uh, comment ce, comment étaient ces exécutions? Him, hoi. One day, Réponse when the parents were jour, ta hein, being taken away to be executed at Chung Aik, Peng took, uh, actually Peng had taken the children ahead uh, before uh, the parents were being taken away, but I have no idea how execution would uh, be carried out. Ces ont été Prosecutor, thank you. Question. Merci. Have you ever learned that uh, any member of staff at S21 ever abused, uh, or sexually abused any female detainee? Des de, de S21 avaient abusé sexuellement um, oui. détenue. There was a guard Réponse. who oui, il y a eu un garde raped qui a a female detainee une femme and uh, he was detained il était arrêté later à son on. Tour. Prosecutor, thank you. Question. Merci. You stated that the arrests of the people who returned uh, from foreign countries, including France, les gens qui de and you said de France, Bang, who was the head of the messengers, would uh, conduct uh, such arrests. Do you know arrestations? where Est -ce que vous savez Bang worked Où and what Bang his role was. Et quel était son rôle? Him, hoi. People who Réponse. returned from France would be received by Bang, who sent them to Bang, me. Uh, me and he told us that he was the chief of the city messenger. Le chef des messagers de la ville. Prosecutor, in which Question. unit? Uh, was Pang in, and what was his unité role, Pang actually? Quelle était ses fonctions? Him, hoi. Réponse. 
the only thing I learned is that uh, he was sais, the uh, city messenger and what role he performed, uh, I have no idea. Fonctions, Prosecutor, thank you. Regarding Question. the Merci. administration affairs at S21, for example, the appraisal of staff members' performance at S21, do you, know any, do you know that uh, uh, whether there is any kind of letter to promote any member of staff at S21? Lettre des ordres visant à promouvoir qui que ce soit Him, oui. à S21. Réponse. Staff members at S21 du personnel de S21 were promoted without any proper letters sans qu'il y ait une procédure particulière un document assigned orally. On or promoted orally. Des Prosecutor, thank you. So this means if Question, anyone would be promoted, si promu, then he would be promoted spontaneously without any uh, proper mechanism. Is that correct? De manière, en quelque sorte, spontanée, sans aucun correct. mécanisme à la clé. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Prosecutor, Question. thank you. Do you know whether Ho was entitled the right to promote any staff member. Le droit de promouvoir un membre Him. du personnel de S21. Réponse. I have no idea Je sais rien. about this. But uh, for me, Mais when a lot of cadres had been almost uh, arrested and, and disappeared, then I would be promoted to be the chief of Dans unit cas, of 100. Avait disparu, avait été Prosecutor, que thank été you. Promu à un poste plus élevé. Do you also know Question that uh, Deutsch aussi, had ever si Duc, stopped or warned any staff member or interrogators not to torture any detainee. Leur disant qu'il ne fallait pas torturer les détenus. Him hoi. Réponse. Yes, it's uh, correct. Uh, the prosecutor, oui, do you mean that Deutsch uh, also punished Pro people who um, torture detainees? Deutsch a puni uh, des membres du personnel qui torturaient les détenus. Prosecutor, uh, did the S21 Et really organize the, the wedding for the staff there? La réponse n'a pas été entendue par les interprètes. Question suivante du procureur. Okay. Est-ce que on a organisé the president, I noticed the lawyers on her un mariage collectif à S21 Excuse me, uh, for um, the interruption, but can, uh, could the last question and answer be repeated? It did not come through the English, and I uh, uh, so Judge Levin uh, as well. Uh, it was not possible to listen. Could the prosecution please repeat? J'aimerais donc que l'on répète et la question et la réponse. Merci. No. The president. Le président. Hum -hoy, I think you are confused. Monsieur Humhoy, je pense que vous souffrez d'une légère confusion. You are reminded again before you respond. Je vous rappelle encore une fois avant de Please wait until the red light on the microphone is on before you speak. So that the interpreters and the transcribers Ainsi, could hear your voice. L'interprétation et la transcription peuvent être réalisées. Do you understand that? Please continue. Bien, vous pouvez poursuivre. Yes, I do. Says Hum Hoi. Oui, j'ai compris. Dit Hum Hoi. Co-prosecutor. I will repeat my question. Je répète donc ma question. Did you know that if Dutch si ever tried to prevent or to si apply discipline to his staff who committed or who conducted torture on the prisoners? Do you understand my question? De la torture sur les prisonniers et euh, y a-t-il eu des sanctions contre ceux qui auraient utilisé la torture sur les prisonniers Deutsch did not prevent non, the conduct of torture. empêché ou prévenu l'utilisation de la torture. Thank you, says the co Merci, dit le coprocureur. Question. Question. At S21, 
were staffed, arranged uh, to have been married by the S21. Est-ce que les autorités de S21 organisaient des mariages? Response at S21. Arranger. Réponse. À S21. There were only a couple of people who were arranged to have Il their marriage mar proceed. Arranger pour question. Question. Uh, were the marriage volunteers among Question. the female and the male people, and who actually organized the marriage? Les, le, les membres du personnel Response. hommes et femmes et qui organisait le mariage? Doit himself organize the marriage? C'était Doit lui-même qui organisait le mariage. Question. Question. The couples who were couples arranged for the marriage. Did they agree to the marriage? Response. I did not know that. Je ne sais pas. I was only allowed after they prepared the reception for the marriage. Je n'étais admis euh, sur les lieux que après les préparatifs Did you du mariage. Question. Ever criticized Doig on any matter? Personnellement, jamais critiqué Doig sur une telle question. I did not dare criticize Je him. Pas le I'm afraid I would be killed. Peur tué. Question. Question. At S21, did you know à who S21, ordered Dutch on a permanent basis? Qui était, qui était responsable de donner des Response. ordres à Doig? Response. At S21, nobody ordered Réponse. him. It was only him who à S21, ordered other people. À S21, il était le seul à donner les ordres. Personne ne lui donnait d'ordre. Question. Did you know Question. if Doig wanted to release Ça someone by himself, can he do that? Si Doig avait le In contrast, de mettre en if Doig wanted to arrest someone without their permission from the upper echelon, si do you think he can do that? De de ses supérieurs Response. hiérarchiques, en avait-il le pouvoir He could do all these, oui, all these things because in that location he was the topmost leader. Le patron. Question. Did you know if Deutsch Question. always got si a weapon on himself? Toujours une arme? Response. Réponse. He had a pistol il avait with him all the time. Pistolet sur sa personne en tout temps. Question. Did you ever see him Question. using that weapon for any purpose? Utilisé cette arme? Response. I only Réponse. knew that he always had his pistol with him je for ne, his own protection. Je savais seulement qu'il portait toujours son pistolet sur sa personne Question. pour sa propre protection. You already Question. told the chamber Vous avez déjà dit that Devant la chambre, Thai prisoners que des prisoners were also Thai arrested and sent to S21, but later they were released. Suite, Did you know where were those Thai prisoners released, uh, arrested, correct the interpreter, and for what reasons, and by which unit? Pour raison et par quelle unité? Response. Response. Those Thai people I did not know the exact number, and I did not know which unit nombre. arrested them. They were arrested from the coastal area. Ils avaient été arrêtés dans la région du littoral. Mr. President, I do Monsieur not have président, more questions for this witness. Poser, but with your leave, I would like to ask a question or more question. to the accused. Euh, ou peut-être quelques questions à l'accusé. Le président. Le président. You may proceed. The Vous accused. pouvez les poser. Listen to the questions by the co-prosecutors and respond appropriately. Thank you, Mr. President, says the co-prosecutor. Merci, Monsieur le Président, dit le co-procureur. 
Mr. Humhoi said Thai people were also arrested and sent to S21 and subsequently they were released. Were you aware of this? If there was a release, can you confirm the reason for their release? Nous dire pourquoi ils ont été relâchés. The accused, Mr. Co-prosecutor, the Thai people, as well as the Muslim people, I did not witness personally, but their names remained on the list. The Muslim people also died, and the Thai people also died, according to the list. Whoever came to S21, they would be killed. Thank you. So it's the co -prosecutor. Mr. President, I no longer have a question, and I would like the floor to my colleague, the President, the international co-prosecutor. You may proceed. Monsieur le co-procureur international, vous pouvez poser vos questions. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, Mr. Himhoi, good morning. Monsieur Himhoi, I would like to ask you a couple of questions about how you felt when you carried out your work at S21. Is it the case when you were at S21, you wrote out your own biography? I did not know how to write, and I asked Paint, who was a radio operator, to write on my behalf. Thank you. I'd like to quote uh, from that biography and ask you to comment on it. It's dated the 10th of November 1977, and the case file document number is D5, the Khmer 00052499 to 0054, sorry, to 2506. The English is 0014-1004-0014-0014-1008, and the French is 0029-0093-0029-0102, and I would like to quote from the English, which is at 00141007 to 1008. Mr. Himhoi, in your biography, you state, I have recognized my personality in the revolutionary society, virtues I have tried hard to fulfill without hesitation or objection, tasks big and small given to me by the party, regardless of how much difficulty, hardship or complexity is involved in these tasks. I have tried hard to overcome them and ultimately fulfill them successfully for the party. You then describe your shortcomings or your deficiencies. I speak impolitely to my fellow comrades, horse around a lot, am easily offended and quick in anger and fly off the handle. My leadership of the masses has not been passionate, en tant que as a result of which the masses doing guard duty have been negligent, de leur de garde, as a result, en fait result of which enemies have been able to escape or seize weapons and kill themselves. Armes et se tuer. My analysis and surveillance of the masses has not been constantly close. Pas été suffisamment vigilant, I have not yet been bold in keeping track of enemy pas, activities, 
suivi les activités des ennemis avec de fermeté. Je continue de enemy activities. l'ampleur des activités I am des still ennemis. Lax in the fulfillment Je of continue immediate à tasks. être mou dans la réalisation de tâches immédiates. Et I do not frequently draw lessons learned from in the fulfillment of tasks. I still have a problem of laxness. It has only been when the upper echelons have given direction that I have a stance of being on the ball in leading the masses. My direction for improvement, after having seen my shortcomings, I would like to express my determination to improve the aspects of my personality and are of a, a non-revolutionary character to absolutely clean myself up and try hard to refashion myself and build up an absolutely solid party proletarian revolutionary stance. Mr. Himhoi, do you recognize that statement as being your own in your Monsieur biography? Himhoi, and was it true at the time in the way that you carried out your tasks? My biography, as well as other people's biographies, they are not true. We have to put in what was required. I just needed to follow what people did. That is my response. When you carried Christian. out your task at Lorsque S21, you said that when you arrived there, firstly, that you were afraid. Vous êtes, were you passionate peur? about carrying out your tasks? Une, were you une... disciplined? Vous étiez très and did you carry them très, out fully? Très zélé, très discipliné pour ce qui était de d'exécuter votre vos, vos tâches. Comme oui. When I first arrived and saw the prison, début, I was scared. Quand je suis arrivé à la prison, After vu la a prison, while, I peur. was assigned to be a guard, un and I just followed the assignment. Là, One day, Sun Sen came for a meeting at Dochi location, and we were all called, as well as those people from prison. I raised my hand, and I requested main, to be transferred back to the military, dans but uh, it was rejected. Mais ma demande a été rejetée. And I was constantly worried when I worked there, anxieux. since I was implicated and since the staff Puisque had been arrested, je, mis en cause I only could not think of arrêté. the concern only after I slept. Did you enjoy your work at S21? Question, est-ce que vous aimiez votre travail à S21? Réponse. As I have just said, je viens de le dire, I was not satisfied with the work over je there. Pas I had no choice mais je pas le choix. because I already requested for a transfer, but it was denied. On me refusé. Were you enthusiastic in your work? Question. Did you do more? than you needed to do, or did you just do enough that you felt that you had to do? Regarding the arrest of the staff there, then everybody just spied on, an uh, on anybody else, uh, and then the reports were made and more people were arrested. So we had to be straight, to well-disciplined. In the biography, it's mentioned that there were escapes at S21. Were there some escapes at S21 whilst you were there? Pendant votre service à S21, y a-t-il eu des gens qui se sont évadés de S21 Réponse. 
Could you please uh, state a bit further regarding the escaped, who escaped? Pourriez-vous uh, reformuler votre question? Whilst you were at S21, did you notice any escapes? Did any prisoners escape from the facility? Um, I did not see any witness escape because I was the guard outside, but I learned that the guards who got the inner compound allowed an escape of a prisoner. Was that the escape of one prisoner or more than one? Un fugitif ou plus d'un? Um, oui. I only learned of one incident Je where one prisoner escaped. Un seul cas. In the details Question. in biography, you state Dans votre that toujours, vous dites one of the enemies seized the weapon and killed themselves. Are you aware of that? Des ennemis qui auraient attrapé une arme et se seraient tués. Avez-vous eu connaissance de cela? Um, oui. Réponse. Yes, I knew that oui, because I was outside and then we were called in. Et on nous a the prisoner a à was in front of the building opposite the entrance. It's near Paul's residence. I did not know who interrogated Je him at the time, but that prisoner snatched the gun and shot himself. And then we were called in. Et, uh, s'est tiré une balle surround that dans le vicinity. corps, on nous a appelé pour euh, coordonner, pour faire un cordon the guards. autour de cet endroit. Par la suite, used an ash to spray it and then the prisoner was shot. Garde ont on tiré, ont tiré sur le. Did the prisoner shoot himself or did the guard? Attendez, c'est le prisonnier qui s'est tiré dessus ou c'est le garde Question du coprocureur. Um, oui. Réponse. I did not know who shot first. Je ne sais pas qui a tué Because the, the, the shooting was from the north and the prisoner nord. also le, had a gun with du nord. Le prisonnier the full cartridge. Un, un qui était, euh, so it is my euh, conclusion qui that... Un plein, euh, un plein de balles... Euh, uh, the guard actually shot the prisoner first. Thank you. Earlier you testified Question. that as more S21 guards were being arrested, you were being promoted. I would like to comment on a statement you made about one of your men that you were ordered to arrest at S21. And for the record, the statement is case file document number D5-22, Khmer 0023-5765. English 0010-4913-0010-4940, and there's no French translation. I'd like to refer to the English at 4921 to 4922. Mr. Himhoy, at one stage, you gave an interview previously to a person called Peter Maguire, and you said, and you said this to him. In Phnom Penh, at Tor Sleng, I was ordered to take one of my men to put in the jail, but I didn't do that. He just had a strong feeling. If he wanted to do anything, he would do it. If he slept, he really slept. If he said he was sick, he was really sick. So they accused him of being the enemy because they were all the messengers of the cadre who had been arrested earlier. That man hanged himself. He was not jailed yet. He told me, brother, I'm going out to cut bindweed for the rabbits. Dit, uh, I said, frère, okay, hurry back for lunch. If you don't okay, come at lunch, they will eat all the food. Si tu pas pour le déjeuner, I didn't know what he was thinking manger. about. He just hanged himself. 
they were about to pull him out to jail, but I told them that I would keep him for rehabilitation for a while. Then you discovered that he was missing, you said we must look for him, and then you found him hanging in a big tile-roofed house. Dans une maison, une grande maison avec un toit de tuiles. Then you stated, "It's your business. I don't know." You spoke to Hor. Sorry. When they came to tell me about this, I was downhearted. I was thinking that I would surely be jailed for having guaranteed him. I rushed to Hor's place and I said, "Brother Chek has hanged himself and died now. It's your business. I don't know. You're responsible for him now. You go and report it yourself." Hor said. He told me to report it to Doik. I didn't go. Hor was a deputy chief after Doik. I didn't even dare to look at his face. You were then asked, would he kill you if you look into his face? And then you said, no, he didn't kill. But I was thinking of his brother-in-law, whom he had jailed. What if it was me, if I had made this mistake? His brother-in-law was also imprisoned in Tours Sling. My question is, is that statement true? Were you ordered to arrest someone and then you refused and persuaded them for him to be rehabilitated rather than being arrested? You have tried to obtain the rehabilitation of this person rather than the Croix S21? Réponse. Brad Chuck was a member of my group. Brad Chuck était un membre de mon équipe. When Ho told me that he should be removed to work in the rice fields, then I told Ho that please do not remove him yet. I will try to. Re-educate himself, and if he cannot change, then he should be transferred. Then he told me, "So it's your responsibility to re-educate him." And I said, "Yes." And next day, he asked me to go and find weeds and morning glory for the rabbits. He went in the morning until 1 p.m. and he did not yet return. And we tried to locate him. We could not find him. And later on, we found him in a house near the creek. He hanged himself in that house. So then. A member of the group found him, and then I was called. And later on, I reported the incident to Ho and told him that Jack already hanged himself, and he blamed me that it is me who should be blamed because actually Ho wanted to transfer him to work in the rice fields. And I told him I didn't know that he would commit suicide. Then I walked back to my base, Je and Ho instructed me to personally report the incident to Dutch, but I told him I was afraid of this. This is my response. Voilà ce que je peux vous and why were you afraid to report it to Doik? Question. Et pourquoi aviez-vous peur d'en faire rapport à Doik? Hum hoi. Because this is a complicated matter, and it could implicate me. Because my superior actually made a decision to transfer him, but it is my suggestion to rebuild him, and that's why he was spared and not transferred. So I urge her not to let me report it to Dutch. And. From that day, I felt very concerned of my personal safety because of that incident. In the same statement that you made to Peter Maguire, D5/22, 
Now refer to the English ERN 0010 4923. You were asked a question concerning the arrest and killing of S21 staff. And Peter Maguire asked you the following question. He said, when the previous bosses were promoted and then got killed, were you worried? You said, I was also thinking about this. I was worried that I would face the same thing soon because the big men, high-ranking officials in the army, had been promoted and then jailed. And it was the same for the people here at Tulsleng. After they got promoted, they were also jailed. I was thinking about this until the liberation day. J ai, j ai eu cela, Every day I remembered that. Like one of my friends who was selected from the army, he proposed to get married and got a wife. And he also asked me to make this proposal too. I said, I don't want. It was then at Tour It was in 1978. The chief, Doig, told me to get married, but I said, I don't want to, que je ne pas. because the cadre here Parce que ici, would also get killed even if they had a wife. Se font tuer, même if I got sont married, mariés, si je both the mariés, husband and wife would have made a mistake. Le mari et la femme qui fait une That's the point that we would die soon. If any of the couples made On mistakes, vite, they would kill both of them. Les couples dans lesquels il y avait une erreur. When did they say, when you said you didn't want to get married, what did they say? And they didn't say anything. The question is, so this means he was not very cruel. No, he would do what he said. He could get away from death because they took me to the field. They wanted to take me back several times. Maybe they wanted to test me. The other men your age have proposed to get married, so Comrade Hoy also got married. You weren't afraid to say no, and you said, no, I was not afraid. I was thinking that if I got married, I would die soon. My question is, did you have that conversation with Doik? Did Doik tell you to get married? Him hoy. On one occasion, when à the cadres were put uh, to get uh, married uh, after meal, I had a uh, meal with them, of course, during that time. And then I was asked by Deutsch whether eux, I would like uh, to get married. Si I told him aussi, that I did not want to. At that time, marier. it reminds me of the Ce other people who were detained and the en masse arrest. Et and from that kind of perspective that I told myself that uh, it was not good to uh, get married because I would uh, be arrested. Because when we got married, Parce if any one of us uh, committed any wrongdoing, then marié, both of us would be arrested. Faute, uh, so I could see the danger. That's why I told him that I would not uh, want to get married. And it is obvious donc, that everyone who got married got jailed and so, when people were arrested, uh, all the relations, anyone who were related to them would also be arrested. So, was it your concern that if you got married, you could be implicated by your wife? Or was it your concern that your wife could be implicated by being associated to you? Or was it your concern that if you got married, both of you could be implicated more easily and arrested? During that time, anyone who got married would be more vulnerable to being arrested because uh, anyone who uh, was 
associated uh, with the person implicated, uh, then that person, the spouse of that person, uh, would also be arrested. That's why, with uh, regarding uh, the en masse arrest and the arrest by the network or string like that, I would not want myself to be in that danger. Thank you. Um, you testified Merci, that you received direct orders from Doig, and I quote at transcript page 24, page when the judge asked you a question, did you ever receive a direct order from the accused? And you said, I also received orders from him. And you said, in what circumstances? So the judge asked, in what circumstances? Can you elaborate further on the situation when you received direct orders from Doik? You said, sometimes he ordered me in a case to go to Sveireng to transport those Vietnamese soldiers who were arrested. It was his direct order. My question is, that's one occasion where you say that Doik directly, personally ordered you to do something, were there any other occasions where Doik ordered you to carry out any act at S21? Him, Hoi. When I went to Swai Ring, I was actually, I had actually been ordered by Deutsche to receive uh, the arrested uh, Vietnamese soldiers at Swai Ring, and we, together with our group, went there. That's all. In the, in the time that you were at S21, how often Question. did you meet Doik? How S21 often were you in his company? I was with him when we arrested uh, a detainee at his house, uh, Bang. Notamment lorsque nous avons arrêté Pang dans sa maison. You mentioned that you went to study sessions initially with Hoare, and then Doik was conducting those study sessions. How often did you have study sessions with Doik at S21? Combien de fois avez-vous suivi ce genre de séance à S21? Him, During the study sessions, Doj and Brother Hoi would uh, meet uh, a fortnightly because there was a house uh, built next to his house and the uh, cadres from various units would be called uh, to attend the study sessions, especially those from the interrogator sessions. So we can have a, an overall understanding of your knowledge of DOIC at S21 about how many times over that one and a half year period that you were there did you see Doik and was in, or, or you were in his company? On about how many occasions? Was it one or five or ten or twenty or more? Him, Hoi. I was in his company two times uh, when we made an arrest uh, first at his house and uh, another at uh, somewhere near Psat Mai. But the other occasions, I would only be in the, uh, the company of Hall instead of Deutsch. At S21, amongst your colleagues and the other staff, 
What was Doik's reputation? What was his character viewed to be by other staff? Deutsch was rather gentle when he speaks, but he parler. was very firm and meticulous because whenever any detainee was arrested, uh, then he would apply a very strict rule toward those people and staff member, and no one would ever be entitled to make any decision uh, regarding the arrest. Only he could uh, make it. And I thought, I think he was the person feared by many, because even when I saw him riding a bicycle uh, toward me, then I would find a place to get away from him. In court on Thursday, you were asked to identify uh, the accused. Judge Laverne asked you, do you recognize this person here in the court standing up, Mr. Hongoy? And you stated, yes, I recognized him. And you were asked, who is he? And you said, he is my superior. Do you still feel afraid of Doik now? Him, Hui, frankly, when I see him, it reminds me of the moment I had worked with him. I was afraid of him. At the other, uh, during the days when I worked with him, I did not uh, there looked uh, at him into the face, and even now I still uh, am fearful of him. Without the deliberation on the 7th of January 1979, I would uh, never 1979. see today light. Uh, I would have been killed already because Deutsch said that everyone, after all, would be smashed. Deutsch said that everyone, after all, would be smashed. Deutsch said that everyone, after all, I just have two or three last questions on some of your arrest and collection missions in relation to the prisoners that were picked up outside of Phnom Penh. Are you able to answer these questions at the moment, or do you need a break? Mr. Himhoy, are you able to answer some questions or do you need a break now? Mr. Himhoy, are you able to answer some questions or do you need a break now? Himhoy, please continue. You've testified that Question. your unit carried out some arrests at Svei Reng. You went there twice. You went to Battenban and you went to Camp on Somme to pick up prisoners and bring to S21. That's five missions. Are there any, were there any other missions, or can you tell us, in the time that you were at S21, how many missions did your unit go on to pick up prisoners outside of Phnom Penh? Was it just the five, or was it more? And if you know how many more, can you say? Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire combien Marie. Him, Hoy. Réponse. There were not only five missions. There were more when I had uh, gone out uh, with Peng and Hor to plus make plus such arrests. Je suis avec Peng et Hor pour procéder à des arrestations. I assume you didn't go on every mission. 
Question. Je que vous n'avez pas été en Phnom Penh. Toutes ces missions que right? parfois vous êtes vous-même resté à Phnom Penh, mais que l'unité est partie à l'extérieur. Est-ce exact? Bad young man. Him, hoy. That's right. right. Oui, c'est exact. And my last question, to the best of your recollection, question. can you put Voici ma a number, que vous whether it was 5, 10, 20, or more, vos souvenirs, of how many 5, missions 10, you were aware of, your unit conducted donc des to bring prisoners par votre from the zones back into S21 at Phnom Penh? Phnom Penh pour les can you try and provide a number, please? Um, Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un chiffre? Him, uh, oi. I don't know how many times Moi, actually there were because I did not uh, keep any record of partie. those. Je pas gardé de notes. Thank you, Your Honor. I have no further questions. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser. The president. Le président. Next, we would like to give the floor to Nous the civil party lawyers to put questions to the witness. Le tour est venu de poser des questions aux témoins. The floor is yours, civil party lawyers group one. You have 20 minutes. Group one, je vous en prie, vous avez 20 minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honor. Well, I will uh, share my time with my national colleague, Tishrina. Good morning, sir. My name is um, Alain Werner. I am um, representing civil parties with my um, national colleague, Tishrina. I have some questions for you. What I would like to do, basically, is to read you some previous statement that you made to different, different people and just to ask you if you can confirm that indeed you made those statements and those statements are accurate. And I will start with the, the topic of the Division 703 and how, and you said last Thursday you spoke a little bit about the accused um, arresting men from the Division 703. But actually, in the, in the case file, in your previous transcript, you, you said um, a bit more. And I would like to start with an interview you gave in February 1996, on the 29th February 1996. And in English, the year and number is the portion I'm going to quote is 001-049-44. And here is what you said. And again, I would just would like you to tell me if that is true. You said this. Ho came from Condal of SW, which is called the Southwest Zone, and was associated with Battalion 703, which many commanders were eventually arrested and sent to S21. Because O was connected to Battalion 703, Dutch no longer trusted O in 1978 and begin to secretly enfin, investigate her. He found or. out about it when he asked a prisoner a from Battalion 703 who told him that her was on the list of prisoners. Can you confirm that what you said at the time is indeed true? Can you confirm that what you said at the time is indeed true? Can you confirm that what you said at the time is indeed true? Réponse. I was very, I was very concerned at oui, that uh, location because a lot of people were arrested from 703 and detained at S21. So 
people were implicated in the confessions uh, from those who were arrested uh, from 703 and I asked that bang without letting my comrades uh, know about this I asked him who he implicated he said uh, he implicated whore or contemptible whore and it made me so worried actually after learning from the bang who implicated whore and then I told uh, Hor to be be careful because the bang who had been arrested earlier already implicated uh, him, and uh, then I realized that uh, if uh, anyone from division uh, from 703 was arrested and that uh, they implicated in their confessions, then everyone who belonged to the former 703 and worked at S21 would all have, uh, would be arrested after all. And then you said something else, and this is found in the written record and interview on the same subject Office of the Co-Investigating uh, Judges, 18 September 2007, the RN number is 0016159. The question was, is or still alive? And here is what you said. Hor and Dutch, in 1979, they fled together after the Vietnamese came came in, and Poak Khan said that Dutch killed Hor. I do not remember clearly. I don't know if it was Poak Khan or who. We met when making the film with Riti Pan. Is it correct that Poak Khan told you that the accused on the retreat in 1979 killed Hor. Him, Hoi. Ta Ho, who ran into the forest, was convinced by me to get out from the forest because even we tried our best to serve the revolutionary, later on we would uh, be uh, killed anyway. And then he d was not convinced after all. And, uh, he did not uh, want to get out. And uh, I asked other women combatants uh, and men to escape uh, or run from them. Uh, and uh, after 1979, when I was uh, in the process of making the film with Brother Khan, uh, he told me that Dutch killed Ho in the forest, and I told him that, you see, I told him already that he should uh, run away from that forest, otherwise he would be killed. Now, what it is, it's true, he was killed. Thank you. Now, you said something, I would like to ask you one question about torture. You participated in a reconstruction, meaning that you went to Tulsleng with many other people to the museum. And there you were asked questions. There were many, many people there, the co-prosecutors, the defense, the co-investigating judges. And here is what you said and can be found at ERN 001 98 004. And the reconstruction was on the 27 February 2008. And here is what you said. With what is recorded of what you said. Witness Im Hoy admitted to participating in interrogation and torture, adding that normally he was not supposed to do interrogation and that his duty was only to stand guard outside. He said that he had forgotten this, but he acknowledged that it was true. Did you say that on that day in front of all these people? people in Tulsleng Museum. I was asked uh, to interrogate uh, detainees 
I said uh, I was illiterate. I could not uh, obtain any confession during any interrogation. And later on, I was made uh, to only stand guard, uh, so I never conducted any interrogation. So what you said on that day was not true. Is, is, that, is it your answer, sir? Well, I think it is not true because, as I told you, uh, I could not uh, write anything. How could I interrogate? So I was only put to stand guard outside. I would like to ask you two more things, and then I will um, give the floor to my to my colleague. First thing, you give the president, we note that, that the Defense Council is on his feet. You take the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to remind that uh, my colleague, Mr. Werner, un procès verbal établi par les co-investigating judges à la cote D48 barre de fraction 2. Et qu'un procès and verbal written, établi written par des co-juges d'instruction co est authentique is et vrai jusqu'à ce que l'on fasse une inscription de faux. It is Donc, si mon false. confrère, Maître so Werner, veut contester ce qui est indiqué dans un procès verbal des juges d'instruction, co il doit commencer par faire une inscription de faux. He must it as false. Your Honor, the only thing I did is Maître Werner, Monsieur le Président, la seule chose que j'ai faite is to, this is in the case file, I just put a portion, I didn't say it was true or not, I just asked the witness to confirm or not, and that's exactly, exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. Can I, can I continue? I'm a bit uh, worried about the time. Can I continue? Can I continue? So here is what you said to a gentleman called Ben Kiernan in July 1996 and can be found ERN 0028 0073 in English. And please, sir, could you just tell me if that is true or not? Here is what you said. Dutch killed two of his brother-in-law by 1978 because their names existed in the enemy list and they had some contact with the cadres. What the co-prosecutor, international co-prosecutor, read you today, one portion was about the arrest of one of his brother-in-law. But here is, here is a document in the case file where you said that Dutch killed two of his brother-in-law in 1978. Is that correct or not, sir? Him, Hoi. During that regime, after I got uh, married, my oui. two brothers in law on my du wife's deux side died. My le, le elder brother in law and my mort. younger brother in law, and I lost my brother killed by Deutsch, and I was told, of, uh, told this by brother Khan. Uh, he was asked so that uh, I could uh, go home to visit my brothers and my brother was, uh, was sick and I told brother Rin that uh, 
my brother was sick, how could he be cured? Because the base uh, did not uh, pay attention to him. And I was told by brother Rin that I should uh, ask brother Ho so that uh, he should he could be treated by brother Rin. And then I made uh, such request to brother Ho that after one week, my brother was uh, well treated. Uh, and then I asked him if I could take him home, but later on he did not allow him to be taken back to the home village. And then we went into the forest, and my brother still stayed put uh, with Taho, and uh, later on he was uh, killed. And then after my brother was killed, Deutsch asked his people to try to kill me also because he accused me of uh, convincing other men to run away. That's all. The last thing I want to put to you, sir, and then I will give the floor to my, uh, to my colleague. You gave an interview in 1990. 15 of September 1990. We have this document in English, ERN 001 711154. And I have it in French as well 0025 And I have it in Khmer 0028 0081. Now, there was a question and an answer, and I would like you just to tell me if it's true or not. Here is the question. From whom did you get orders? How did you feel then? And here is the answer you gave at the time. All orders were from Mr. Hoare and Mr. Dutch. They sent him prisoner in and out. I did know that there were a lot of torturing, and the prisoners were suffering a great deal. That may, made me frightening. I did know that they were sending out and killed in Chiang Hek. And here is what you said In this office S21, I heard Mr. Duch and Mr. Ho said we should kill all and kept only 4 million. Did you say that in 1990 to Mr. Tim Sarr? Did you say that in 1990? As I already stated, early on during the study sessions lectured by Deutsch, he personally and directly said uh, that uh, everyone would uh, be smashed or killed, not only the people who were detained at S21, I believe, because he said that uh, we had uh, to kill them all, so uh, there were prisons all across the country, so I mean everyone would be killed. And À toutes les prisons du pays. Thank you for answering my question. Maître Werner, merci pour avoir répondu à mes questions. Maître Tisrina. Tisrina, Mr. President Monsieur and your honors. Madame, Monsieur les juges. Good uh, morning, Mr. Him Hoy. I may now témoin. proceed uh, some questions. Je vais poser à mon tour quelques questions. I would like to ask question concerning the mass execution concerning les executions commises en masse you said that uh, a lot of people were sent to be smashed in Chiang Hai in which year was that hum hoy it was toward late 77 or early 78 this rena Last week, you said you saw the accused, that is Dutch, who walked into the painting room. Did you see him after the mass killing or before that? It was at that time, at the times that the mass killing took place. Question, it means the mass killing was already carried out. De masse était déjà en cours. Response. Ou bien avait it déjà, was around déjà that produit. time. C'était grosso modo à la même époque. Question. Question. 
So after the mass killing Donc, took place, cette, euh, ces did masse, you ever see avez-vous the changes in Dutch habit or character that whether he satisfied or not satisfied with the mass killing? Est-ce qu'il avait l'air satisfait? Response. Réponse. I would like to say that he Je dire que did not il dissatisfied with what happened because he was the one who ordered the killing. Bah, il devait être satisfait parce que c'est lui, lui qui, avait comme, role, qui avait donné l'ordre de d'exécuter Pour ce qui est de votre patrol, rôle, vous aviez pour tâche de faire la patrouille de la de vicinité. Did you ever go to those houses along the fences of S21? Did you see people detained in those houses? Lorsque vous alliez dans faire vos rondes, est-ce que vous voyez des gens détenus dans les différentes maisons autour du périmètre Before immédiat there was de a prison to the south, Il y avait jadis houses, une prison au sud and de, de ces maisons. Plus tard, the lorsque les bâtiments étaient aménagés, on a transféré les différents prisonniers vers ces maisons Can you verify whether it was outside Question. the wall of S21 or it was inside the wall of S21? ou en dedans Response. de l'enceinte de la maison de l'Est-Ouest du bâtiment was it outside the wall? Question. Euh, qui fait l'angle sud est à ce moment là la prison n'était pas encore établie et les maisons n'étaient pas encore établies ces maisons là étaient au sud de l'Est-Ouest du Mur Question. Du bâtiment qui court How many of those houses where the prisoners were detained? Question. Il y avait combien de maisons de ce type Response, dans lesquelles les prisonniers étaient détenus? Réponse, je ne peux pas dire un chiffre exact. Question. Question. What types of prisoners who were detained in those houses? Écroués dans ces maisons. Can you recall? Pouvez-vous vous en souvenir Réponse. They were important prisoners des prisonniers importants who were detained in that location ceux que l'on mettait and dans ces on, endroits là Et ensuite, il y a eu un arrêt des personnes Question. Regarding the children, you already stated that Concernant les enfants, vous avez children déjà were dit sent que by the S21 staff to be killed. Les personnels de S21 ont And how many children euh, were killed? Can you recall that? L'exécution, combien d'enfants ont été Response, I cannot recall it. Réponse, je ne But, uh, peux there were roughly je 100 children. Exact, mais je dirais euh, environ une centaine d'enfants. Question. For those children who Question. were sent to be killed les before they were sent, avant were les biographies or photographs uh, taken que from them? Response. Recueillait I concernant? do not have Réponse. a knowledge of that. Je ne sais pas. Question. Question. Can you confirmed when you walked in through and inside the S21 building and compound, did you ever hear the screaming of the victims victimes in that vicinity? Crier. Response. The prisoners who were tortured and interrogated, les torturés, interrogés, they felt the pain and of course they would make noise or scream. However, then the guards were ordered to douleur, make criaient, noise to counter the screaming of the victims. Avait l'ordre de faire des bruits pour Regarding the patrolling Contrer of each room or individual cells, Question. did you personally witness the detention of those uh, victims, that they were shackled in rows, feet to feet? Did you ever personally witness that while well, on patrol? Lors de vos patrouilles, les victimes Response. entravaient When ho, à des barres dans les cellules. Réponse. After a mass arrest, Ho Après une sometimes asked me, me to, as, to carry out this task. 
but I did not want to do it because I had problem with my feet and I did not want to go up and down those floors to patrol each room. M'en occuper, j'avais des problèmes aux pieds. Je ne voulais pas question. monter et descendre des escaliers. Can you please answer to the point of my question? Réponse. Pourriez-vous répondre plus précisément? Did you personally witness the victims being shackled in long bars in row? Avec des aux pieds, les attachant à une longue barre. And they were shackled in a row of ten. Or similar number, and they were shackled feet to feet. Did you witness that? De 10 environ. Response. Que ils avaient, uh, when I went up to the les, room, tous les I witnessed les uns à côté des those réponses. prisoners Lorsque je suis monté shackled, vers les cellules, j'ai effectivement and vu les also the prisoners in the entravés. individual cells were les shackled. Dans les cellules individuelles étaient aussi and entravés. in each bar, there had Chaque to be more than 10 prisoners in a row. Plus de dix prisonniers dans and une in rangée. each room, dans chaque there salle, could be three chaque rows of those prisoners. Il pouvait y avoir trois rangées de prisonniers. Your time runs out. Le président, votre temps de now parole it is time est maintenant écoulé. Break. Et And the chamber will take a 20-minute break la until 5 to 11 when it resumes.